Research News Time. Information is power. The current. The news headline. Joe Igokwe reacts to Senator Abaribe statement that not all attacks in Southeast are carried out by IPO. It was recently reported that the Senate Minority Leader and Senator representing Abia South uh, Senatorial Zone, Senator Iyinaya Abaribe, said that not all attacks in the Southeast region are carried out by members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. The Senate Minority Leader went further and stated that it's clearly uh, that stated this clearly that there are over 30 separatist groups presently operating in the Southeast region. And based on that note, a well known member of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Joe Ibokwe, decided to react. While, uh, while reacting, Joe Ibokwe laughed. He wrote, ah ha 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 ha, saying that, on the other hand, Senator Eyinaya may be right for saying that not all attacks in the Southeast region are carried out by IPOP. However, it is possible that some people or groups are trying to sabotage the IPOP, but let us wait and see what will happen in the future. Because uh, Sen the, uh, the uh, Joe Ibokwe actually laughed at this because of the recent attack on his home on uh, Inewi where it was raised down and burnt down uh, you know, into ashes. Therefore, Senator Abaribe also of recent uh, side, you know, saying that not all attacks in the southeast region were being, you know, done or perpetrated by the indigenous people of Biafra. He has also said that he was going to fix, uh, the, you know, the nation uh, in six months, perhaps if given uh, the opportunity. Therefore, Senator Abaribe has been known for his blunt saying and um, his stylish way of addressing uh, matters in order to urge balance. The video of Abaribe assuring of fixing Nigeria's problem in six months has been generating different reactions on the internet since today. Iyinaya Akot Abaribe is a Nigerian politician who was elected to the Abia South Senatorial District of Abia State sometimes in April 2007. He holds the title Nwadi Ohana Ungwa. Iyinaya is an outspoken senator often contributing to the debate on national issues. According to a recent YouTube video that was shared by Channels Television, they took to their YouTube page and, say, and shared the video or the interview they had with Abaribe, where in the interview, Abaribe said that uh, he said a whole lot of things regarding 2023 presidential election and then um, made uh, a, a particular citation that uh, he would fix Nigeria's problem uh, in six months. And this has been generating different reactions um, uh, on the social media platform. And remember that for quite a while now, Abaribe had actually been uh, against the insecurity going on in the, uh, in, the, in the country, especially in the southern region, where the indigenous people of Biafra have been saying that uh, they want to go on, uh, they, they, they will be going on a sit at home order again, you know, declaring it after they have declared a particular one for uh a while now while the, the monday sit at home orders which they actually suspended for a while and we remember that senator barry who was an outspoken senator who actually went against uh this declaration by the indigenous people of biafra that is the ipop saying that uh he denounced any uh any declaration or order from the indigenous people of biafra that everyone should stay at home we know that by october uh 24 2021 Martin Abekanu again is expected to be at the court uh, for a trial uh, as being uh, proposed, you know, has been, has been postponed rather by Justice Binta Inyako, who said that the case was being adjourned to October 24, 2021, and there has been some rumors spreading that the DSS are actually planning not to bring uh, Martin Abekanu to court for that October 24, 2021, and yet again, it seems that the, the IPOP are uh, saying that they would actually declare a seat, a one month seat at home order if Inamdekanu was not brought to court for that October 21st, 2021. Nito Abaribe and other political leaders of the southeastern region has come out to publicly con condemn the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra. The, after less than 24 hours after the anti IPOP protest by Ijeli, you know. 
and therefore saying that the sit at home order by the IPOP should actually be denounced. Although the IPOP has said that they had not ordered for any sit at home order again, that it is actually on suspension and nobody should enforce the sit at home orders just like Senator Abaribe had and other political leaders had actually said to. As vowed to deal with anyone caught enforcing the Monday sit at home order in Southeast. In a statement signed by Comrade Ima, powerful media and publicity secretary of the IPOP, the group intensified plans to set up task force to check those enforcing the protests. The statement read, We, the global family of indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, ably led by our leader, Mazi Inamdekanu, wish to reiterate once again that we have no other, we have no other seats at home order after 14th September. Any other purported seats at home, including the suspended weekly seat at home on Mondays, does not exist in the diary of IPOP. In fact, after September 14th, there is no seat at home this week. Any contrary news or speculations to this effect should be ignored. Anybody trying to enforce any seat at home order using the name of IPOP is a saboteur and does so at its peril. If we catch anybody disturbing the peace of Biafrans or residents in Biafra land under the guise of enforcing non-existent seats at home order, such a person reg will regret his actions because he will receive the reward of traitors. The indigenous people of Biafra is re a responsible organization with reasoning and empathy. We cannot be part of the problem we are trying to solve. We cannot join the enemies to compound the woes of our people we are fighting to liberate. That was why we suspended the Ghost Mondays that we earlier declared because of the economic implications to our people. We listened to appeals by the people and reviewed our stance on the matter then. That was why we reduced the seats at home protests to the days our leader Mazinam Dikalu will be making appearances in court. That is enough for now and we stand by it. Anybody trying to impose another set seats at home order on our people or enforce illegal or imaginary seats at home is not IPOP and must be dealt with. Such a person or persons are working with the enemies to disrespute uh, IPOB and we won't tolerate such stupidity. On this note, IPOB strongly condemned the barbaric act by hoodlums and mentally deranged fellows who disrupted a WAEC exam in a school in Imo State on Monday. What a stupid madness. Whoever was behind such barbarity must be made to pay for their actions. IPOB leadership is hereby promising to replace those motorbikes burnt in the school to their owners and rebuild school blocks burnt by hoodlums in the name of ESN and IPOB volunteers. This is not to portray or indicate that IPOB committed the heinous crimes against our people and promised to set up tax force to checkmate those parading themselves as IPOB volunteers and those committing this crime against humanity and our people. We plead to Biafrans to bear with us for this dastardly act against humanity they are using to disrepute and demonize IPOB in the world. We are calling on the school management and those their, those their properties were destroyed to contact any IPOB office near to them for possible payments of their properties that were destroyed. And these were the words of the IPOB through their public and media secretary, uh, Ima Powerful. Thanks for listening. That is the news.